Hello, today I'm working on an HP 15-BS. It's the 15-BS158SA. The alternate model number is TPN C129. That's the class of computer. This computer has a bad LCD, has lines going down one side of it. It also has popped hinges, I think, um, hinges that are popped out of the top case. So when I open it, I can feel the top case flexing. Um, the customer did not complain about the hinges, so I don't think she really wants me to do anything about that, but um, uh, I'm tempted to just open it up and pop some glue in there just to get it to hold better. Uh, so I need to shut this down. You can see here's the, the bad display. I'm, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but uh, I think we ascertained when she came here with this the first time that we could uh, press a certain place and get the display to to show or to be worse, although now it's not doing it. But I'm going to swap out the LCD nonetheless. So I'll just shut down and get started. Hopefully you can hear me over the concrete saw across the street. I just need to get my uh, Budger, some kind of a tool underneath the edge to get it to to release a clip or two. Usually I'll go in and then just give it a little twist and that's worked in this case. So these are these are coming away quite easily. I'm a little bit worried about, as I said, the hinges. I need to open this a little bit wider than 90 degrees though, in order to get the bottom part of the bezel out. Ooh. Oh, that hinge does not feel good. So there's some double-sided tape down here that shouldn't be there. Normally these are not glued or bonded to the LCD panel because that would make it impossible to get it off without damaging the panel. This bottom left corner is still clipped in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, somebody put double-sided tape on the bottom there. Alright, so this LCD panel looks like it's held in with it's underneath the frame so I can see so the LCD panel here has has four mounting points these are this little metal tab is part of the LCD panel and it's underneath this frame so there's a metal frame that goes around the edge the bottom part of the panel is, an, is not under the frame. I can take out these two screws, but then I'll also need to loosen this frame down here and take out these screws so that the top part of the frame will open up. Again, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this hinge back up so that I can turn this over and work with the computer, with the LCD panel closest to me. And I'll start with the bottom. You know what? I'm going to take the battery out as well. So this is not the factory battery. It's a green cell. So I'm going to just, I'm going to take off these screws around this frame because I think this frame has to come out 
although it looks like it's under the the hinge on this side or at least this piece of trim it's so noisy here right now not the best time to be making a video but the customer couldn't wait so I thought I'll just make it now I just dropped a screw found it it's a bit of static electricity here so I'm just gonna ground myself yeah, so this frame, I can get this LCD panel up. Okay, so that'll be, it'll have the data connector on the back of it. So I'm gonna flip the laptop up and hopefully there's enough slack that we can let this lay flat. Yep, I'm just gonna pull some of that cord out of the little wire looms. Uh, I found for this tape, I put my pointed spudger in there and roll it so that as it sticks to the tape, this, the part that's rolling slides against the surface below. And that seems to work pretty well at getting underneath tape, even old tape. So I'm just rolling this along, do the same here. This tape is quite strong, although not that strong but I'd, I'd rather do this than use my fingers and contaminate the tape because I do intend to reuse this tape I'll add another piece of just scotch tape over that or sellotape as they say here now I'll just pop this out So there's the new one. Just gonna make sure the plug is the same. The mounting points are all the same. Mounting points are definitely the same. The plug looks to be the same, yes. And mounting points at the top. Yeah, I think it should fit. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go for it. So I'm going to put this pad back on and I want to lay it down. Get this frame out of here so I'm going to lay this down while I connect the data cable. So here's the new, the new panel. I'm going to zoom out. This new panel is slightly smaller than the old panel by about uh, just under a centimeter in total, probably eight millimeters or so. Mm. So four millimeters on either side. <clears throat> Fortunately, the bezel covers that. The bezel, uh, this is meant for this computer. It's an IPS display. The, the blank part around the edges, this, uh, this black tape here, is thinner on the new <coughs> display so it'll work just fine and actually it'll probably have a, a better display so i'm just going to plug this in nice satisfying snap and then i'll put a bit of sellotape over that and then tuck this wire back into this little wire loom Okay, now I'm going to flip the computer back over and lay this in place and you'll see what I mean about the size. So that guide hole is there and there. Now I need to get this frame up and around and over here as well. Okay. 
I'm just going to, I'm not going to tighten these, I'm going to just start everything first. And I'm going to hold that bezel in place one more time. I'm going to tighten these now. And I've got all four. the bezel fits beautifully. I'm gonna give this bezel a good clean because it's a bit dirty. I'm just gonna move this. I'm gonna go over it first with this. So it's missing the two little rubber bumpers here. I might get that adhesive out of there. So I cleaned it first with a glass cleaner and then sprayed some isopropyl alcohol on there. The glass cleaner sort of leaves a, a bit of a residue, I think, sometimes. And I, this wasn't a deep clean. The best thing to do for this would be soak it. But, and I just want to make sure that it's completely dry before I put it back on the computer. I'm gonna test the computer while we're waiting. All right, I'm gonna put the battery in. All right, there's the HP logo. So slow, this computer, jeez. I'm gonna put this bezel back on now while we wait. I have to take the film off first, so don't I? I just want to see a Windows desktop before I take this film off. Come on. All right, beautiful. So I'm going to take off the film and put on the bezel. What's going on here? There. Lovely. Now, how do we get the middle clicked in without putting too much pressure on the LCD panel? I'm going to go below the LCD panel by using the handle of this brush. So I'll just look around the outside to make sure that there are no gaps. And now look down the bottom. That looks fine. It looks good to me. So that was pretty simple. This computer needs a solid state drive upgrade. Right, I'm going to clean this laptop and then get it back to the customer. So that's it. Thanks for watching.